Welcome to Nebraska Soy TV. I'm your host, Maya Sayer. Lauren Giesler from the Department of Plant Pathology at the University of Nebraska discusses soybean cyst nematode. This information will give you tips on how to identify this parasite in your fields, its damage and effect on yields, and some of the best management practices when dealing with cyst nematode. This Nebraska Soy TV episode is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. Soybean cyst nematode uh, is a small worm-like animal, uh, which all nematodes fall into that category, that are pests that feed on soybean roots. Uh, and specifically, soybean cyst nematode uh, is, is the most yield-limiting problem of soybean production in Nebraska and across the United States. Uh, this worm-like animal is, is robbing yield in fields uh, all across the country, and specifically in Nebraska, we're in an area where we're seeing just a gradual increase in this over the last several years. So the first step is to take that soil sample in areas where you feel soil may have been introduced into the field from another area uh, because anything that moves soil can move soybean cyst. And so we go into those areas with a soil probe, collect about 15 to 20 points and we'll pool those and then taking that soil to, uh, specifically in Nebraska, sending those into my lab and we'll process those at no charge, and then you're gonna know if you have cyst nematode or not. If cyst nematode populations are not managed, we'll see those numbers grow to a point that, that it's not profitable to grow soybean in that field, and we'll need to rotate that field out of soybean production for many years. To try to control that population, what we're looking at are two types of rotation, rotation to a non-host crop, and rotation to resistant varieties and different varieties. So the key is to not grow the same soybean variety in the same ground two years later when you're coming back into a field that has cyst nematode. There's a lot of ongoing research with soybean cyst. Uh, breeders are constantly working to try to utilize and identify, uh, working with pathologists to identify new sources of resistance. And so companies are trying to incorporate multiple genes, for example, uh, just to give another defense mechanism because that nematode is very effective at, a, at adapting to those varieties that you put in the field and some portion of that population will reproduce on any variety. Currently there's a, a large North Central Soybean Research Program funded project that's looking at the influence of these different resistance sources or the population, the ability of that population to reproduce on those different specific resistance sources and how that rotation affects that. In Nebraska, your soybean checkoff is going to support a, a sampling program. This program, uh, over the last four years, has identified soybean cysts in, in 20, over 20 counties in Nebraska that we didn't know cysts was there before. So if you would like more information about soybean cyst nematode or other disease problems that you could have in your soybean crop, please check out the resources below the player. We want to thank you for joining us. Please take a moment to sign up to receive email notifications for future videos by clicking on the subscribe link below. Or if you'd like to share this video with a friend or colleague, click on the share button. The resources link below contains further information on today's topic. On behalf of the Nebraska Soybean Board, I'm Maya Sayer. We look forward to seeing you again on Nebraska Soy TV.